what actually is the def definition or in your perspective of site to site? Ah, very good question. I ask you to visualize. I have spoken to you before about the vibration of your spoken words. The definition I feel amongst you is the spelling of the word sight is causing a tad misunderstanding. S-I-G-H-T to S-I-G-H-T. Now, please, for a moment, change this vibration to S-I-T-E to S-I-T-E. Now, let's call them building sites for the sake of this example. These building sites wish to unite. So that which they do is build a bridge. A bridge is being built on request from the humans. Please understand your desires are heard. They are as humans. They do not enjoy telling you no. So they will go to extremes such as these tips there is concern about to create this for you. They are being very carefully monitored. I cannot express to you, monitored even beyond your planet, beyond your governments in the multiverse. There are also species involved in this that are not work for near. Now, I have said to you before, there is always conversation. It continues, continues, continues. If this happens amongst the aliens. This does not necessarily mean there is constant communication between Earth and aliens, though it is ongoing very frequently. I need to share this important point with you before I expand on the bridge idea. Years, many years though, in many lifetimes of those who incarnate now, there was abductions. They occurred. They were real. After a mass of abductions was experienced and those humans left behind became distressed, terrified, especially those who glimpsed the occurrence. Now, this species is attempting to coordinate with Gert Fickner because they now have come to appreciate the damage that they did to humanity in their abductions. So, there are issues even before this in your time willing to be addressed. There is a wish to make amends for that that they have done. Now, I understand there is talk of a group of 50 Yes, this would be accurate. It may be a couple either way, but this is a figure that resonates with you and this is how it's used. Now, amongst that 50, if negotiations on this situation is approved, the abductees will be involved in some site-to-site -site interaction. They wish to make amends. So, this is much bigger than what you might think. There is, as you can imagine, hundreds of people who were abducted. It is now visualized, especially the hybrid children that were created at that time. You do not, I guarantee, and I say with respect, understand how they're held in high esteem now. Those hybrid children are now hybrid adults and they are worshipped as gods. Now this appreciation 
is something that they wish to say to humans, we did what hurt you, what brought you harm, and we are distressed by it. We wish to make amends. This is how it's being presented to Gokutnia. It is genuine. They will involve these abductees in these visitations. Now the level of remembrance may vary. It depends on how much they remember of the experience at the time of abduction, at the time DNA was taken. If their lives, people's lives attached to these people who were abducted and the abductees themselves, if their lives have been vastly affected by the experience, then there's a responsibility felt by the race that created this and they request to bring those to them so that they may do what you call apologize with sincerity, with gratitude and express and understand that we hold your children in high esteem. They have not become what we were. We have grown. We are spiritual entities. We now understand. We wish for redemption. Now, they will be amongst the 50. At this point, it is undecided as to how many. Now, I take you back to the bridge reference. Remember, S-I-T-E to S-I-T-E. Now, this infers travel. It, infer, it infers travel sideways, not travel upwards. The bridge that is currently being built for you, please understand, this is for you at your request. So there has been this excitement. Oh, yes, the humans wish to visit. The humans wish to look at us. The humans wish to embrace us. It's very powerful, that manifestation that you are projecting. And the aliens in Gokfit Mir are hearing, they're listening to you. They want to bring you what you want. Now, they feel the sense of anticipation in you. They feel the sense of the desire for it to be immediate, for it to happen now, for it to be soon. Understandable. Let me please explain those aliens that are interacting with you are doing their very, very, very best to express their love, to create that which you are asking for as a mother and a child. A mother saying no to a child is very difficult. This is an analogy that I will use However, I also ask you to remember that we are a combination of dimensions. Now, we need to embrace, embrace 3D and instead of looking to 4D, we can become 3D+. plus. 3D plus at this point is most relevant. Now, I take nothing away from those who have elevated themselves, even if it's for short periods, to other dimensions. Astral travel, hom how, ah, the word, excuse me, how, how, uh, holographically, thank you, I need Kim. Uh, all of this is taken into account. You are not satisfied with the holographic visitations. They hear that. There has been no talk of the crystal rooms. They are aware you are no longer talking about the crystal rooms. They went to the extremes because you asked to create smaller crystal rooms. Actual ships which are purely crystal rooms that are placed in various places in orbit around your planet. And suddenly, as soon as that happened, it was not enough. The aliens do not hear you say, that's okay, thank you, we appreciate it, allow us to use it, allow us to share it. It's been forgotten. 
I ask you please, while you wait for this experience to happen, make the request to go to the crystal room. It will help to bring you clarity and it will help to bring you congruency. Now, side to side on the bridge, the question is how far are you willing to build that bridge to get to the other side? The understanding that a chip is required. This is not a choice of the aliens. This is not a choice of Gek Nia. Please understand that. What they are doing is everything they can possibly create to fulfill your needs. The result is implant a chip and bring you with information for the government. You wish it to happen quickly. So this is the way it is being presented to you. If you were willing to wait, then there would not be those conditions. But they feel your urgency. Like I said, again, as a parent does not like to say no to its child, the aliens do not like to say no to the humans. So they respond. They respond in kind. Now with the chip idea, if you feel that you are repelled, that is absolutely fine. However, understand your visitation, your sight to sight will take longer. And it does not stop Gert Fickmeer discussing it. It does not stop Gert Fickmeer from seeing you in any other light. They understand it's free will, you have the choice. They've made the offer, however, at your request. So there had to be some compromise. Do you want to build this bridge? Do you want to step aside from the bridge? Do you want to swim under the bridge? This is the decision that you must make for yourselves. Nobody else can make it for you. It's a personal, again, vibrational experience for you, the self, rhetorically to explore. Now the chips. Yes, they will be used. And perhaps used in ways that you would not appreciate. Some of you would feel, I have nothing to hide, what's the problem? Others of you feel that it is violating you and your rights. This is your choice. There is no one dictating to you, you must do this. You're on the list to come, so you must have a chip implanted. That is not the way that it works. As well, I believe the issue of trust arose. I wish to explain to you, yes, there has been observation and closer observation of some humans than others. However, I refer again, I take you back to my last channel of plant life being great observers. This is one reason why I asked you to tend to your plant life. Your vibration that you share with your plant life is also shared with Gurg Fichtnia. So if there is any wonderment as to who is trusted to come, number one, it's your choice whether or not you have the implant put in and number two, how have you expressed yourself around your plant life? There is no judgment, it is an assessment. There will be more visitations, there will be more sight to sight because it is understood you require it. Be prepared though at this time that this is the best they could do for you with negotiating with the government. Please appreciate it. Yes, you have opinions. Yes, this is wonderful. You are having conversations. I simply ask, please appreciate this was a creation made for you.
It was a way for them to fulfill the need that you were driven towards. So it is a solution they came up with for you, not for them, for you. So I say to you, move to the side once again. Build the bridge as far as you wish to build it. If you want to go to the site on the other side, you know what will occur. If you don't, that is absolutely fine too because you will not be taken off the list. It will simply be that the order of the list visitation will change. Is there any questions? Um, yes, uh, I'm going to talk to you, Sabrina. Sabrina, uh, hello. How are you? First of all, I would like to just, if you could um, take a little break so Kim can take a, a drink of water. Um, really appreciate that so that she, her mouth gets Thank very you. dry when she channels. Yes. <sighs> okay. Um, Thank you, Sabrina. My question was, okay, um, and I can tell you some of the concerns. Um, I can tell you one of my concern is. I can understand the need for the chip and uh, some are okay with having the, uh, the, 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 the GPS like part of it on all the time. Is mm -hmm. the uh, listening in on the conversations uh, that some mm -hmm. people feel discomfort with and they also feel that some uh, ETs that they talk to and converse with would not also appreciate it. Uh, that was mm -hmm. one, of, one of the points that was brought up. Um, the other point is in your private moments in your bedroom, um, you know, we would like to keep that to ourselves. Mm. And as you know, as you well know, you know, we humans like that, for the most part, like that to be private. Mm. Yes. Um, so that is, that is another concern. Um, that that um, some of us have about that, um, and I understand that it. This is you know they're doing their best um, to yes. get us what we want, and and that you know we have to compromise. But I don't know if there's a possibility where there could be a a chip. Where we allow some flexibility of when things get recorded, or if there's a possibility of a chip that the minute a person is um, considerate, you know, considers being taken out, it out right away it activates the recorder, um, or something like that, so that um, people can still feel. That they can have some moments of privacy in their life, and I yes. think that that was that was some of the things that bother people, and not so yes. much in terms of the ET is recording, uh, because we mm -hmm. feel that we know that a uh, curfew will do it. Anyway. Yeah, yes, with, with integrity. Anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, the most of the issues were, became with with the governments. And what mm -hmm. will the information we use for? What what will happen with that? Mm -hmm. And and I and that's where most of the issues come in. So can you tell us, you know, what what you feel about that? Okay, the option of being able to turn on and off your chip mm -hmm. actually makes the chip it renders the chip useless. Do you understand? They would, if there was no purpose for the chip, 
then it would not have even been suggested. It is designed to record you before, during and after because there are several humans on your planet who will be inspecting this footage. This I understand that many of you are completely do not, totally, concurrently, will not accept. And it's understandable. It depends on how much of your life you wish to disclose. We come back to the whole idea of disclosure again. The aliens are disclosing the last webinar to Kerr disclosed. It was perfect. It is now your turn to decide how much are you willing to disclose? There was effort made to do these site-to-site -site visitations with other kinds of security in place. There was much discussion about that. What it came down to amongst the alien assembly was that chips were more efficient. Now, when this was communicated to the government, they said, if you are going to implant chips, they don't just want to know what is and how the chip is inserted. They want to know how the chip is built. They want to know about the technology. They want to imitate it. It is much more than just for the purpose of you having site-to-site -site visitation. Do you see? Your experts experts on your planet will be analyzing this footage and the creation, the ability to record. You understand there are bionics going on in your world. There, there are many who are interested how this may process how this process may work. So the government, if it is appears to be successful, this chip in the site to site, visitations, I feel this technology may once again be a technology that Earth has grasped and may not necessarily be used in what you would call a positive sense. There is a bigger picture than simply your visitation. It is how, it is who, it is what. Does that make sense? Does that yeah. answer your question? And yeah, and that's that is that is some of the concerns also that we have. How and and that's what I said, how is the information going to be used and and, and whatever information they get from the chip, are they gonna try and implant it on other humans? So all of these kinds of questions come up um with within the group and also that this might set a precedence mm -hmm. um, that that was also uh, one of the concerns um, that yes. this might set a precedence where anyone visiting e even after contact anyone visiting any any ship or uh, any any ET that they have to have a chip in there and mm -hmm. And I don't think, you know, I think for for the beginnings of the program, I can see it, but I don't see it as a permanent thing because then I think we're walking in a different direction. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I understand your concern. I understand what you're saying. I can tell you that the information from these chips will be analyzed by the humans, by humans you may not want them analyzed by and then that technology could be escalated, seen as acceptable because it has been tested on humans who volunteered to be guinea pigs because they wanted to go to site to site. What would eventually happen is they would find ways in which to use this technology amongst the humans and there will be those who wish to use it for, for good. 
However, it will fall into the hands of your military. It is up to you to decide whether you feel that is safe or not. There is a broader spectrum. I ask you please consider these, these issues. If you choose at this time to not have the chips implanted, understand it does not mean sight to sight will not happen. It simply means it's not going to happen within the time frame that you have requested from the aliens where they have attempted to create the embracement of that which you are asking for. There is so much focus on it at this point. I ask you though, look beyond yourselves. Ask yourselves, why does your government need this information? Why does your government want this information? Apart from the trust issues around the aliens. Yeah, and, and and that's where we have the issues because mm -hmm. a lot of us see um, the the they might have nefarious reasons for wanting yes. this in us. Oh yes. Mm. So so this is where the dichotomy comes in and and where we don't know whether to do it or not to do it because. I can see doing it because it's it's we will uh, be able to remember what we did and and start. May I just interject for just one moment? Okay. This information, you may see it as a period of time. Now, whether or not it is decided to remove those chips your lives will become watched upon because you are sadly guinea pigs so your lives will be inadvertently watched upon recorded noted did this affect you in this way in that way how effective was it how much remembrance was there it will not stop just with the the uh, existence of a site to site pre presentation. It will go far beyond that. This is one reason why Birk Vignir works so hard to encompass the humans and to be seen to be pro proactive on the existing contracts. Because the existing contracts, if they are going to be partly rewritten to facilitate this for yourself, you're allowing the government potentially to invade what your lifestyle is from the moment the chip is implanted, regardless of whether the chip is removed, from that moment onwards. And the technology may fall into the hands that you yourselves personally with integrity may not wish to occur. It is it is your decision. It is a big decision. I am, however, simply giving you the pig the big picture. If you are willing to make the sacrifice of your personal life and when I talk about this I'm not talking about as you said your intimate moments in the bedroom I am talking about how you function in society how do you relate to other people how much can you resist relaying what you've experienced to another human it is a long time to hold a secret within Yes, and um, and uh, for me, there are other reasons why I don't think it's such a good idea, and I'm sure you're aware of what I'm referring to. Mm -hmm. um, yes. I, I don't think 
I don't think it's a good idea, particularly for me, because um, mm. um, certainly. Um, so, but I, but I do think you know, I, as you well know, I have health issues. Um, mm -hmm. So for me, it would have been good for them to be able to see me at the ship, and I'm sure many people that are sick yes, for benefit healing. from for for healing. Yes. Um, and that's really my main focus. Yes. Um. So that people that need healing can go. Yes. Can you also say that if this was the case? mysteriously and suddenly there would be humans who are cured from things that doctors in your world believe are incurable. If this was to happen often and frequently it would send off alarm bells. It is not that the aliens wish for you to suffer, wish for you to be unwell, they, in their choice, would choose to heal you in one of your heartbeats. However, it is simply a beginning of organized chaos if they begin to do this. Especially, especially because it will be done on the ships. It will not be done in front of the governments, in front of your military in front of your human doctors. It's, it's a bridge at the moment that simply is so far being built, the foundations, being built to the foundations of the site, not even close to building the bridge. Because the humans want control. The humans want this information. They want to know how to heal. And I will tell you this, some of it has been shared and they have not implemented it. So it is something that there is vast control and trust issues around. It is the government. If the governments were of the mindset that they were leading by demonstration, they would be willing and even attend the healings, be part of the healings. Just one leader is all that's required to demonstrate this is how we as a populace on the earth wish to project. So knowledge on how the healing is done, oh yes. There is great desire from those on earth to be informed of this. Again, I say this with sadness, it may well be used against each other. Does that help? Yeah, so so what is your feeling on the chip? The um, chip? Yeah, do, do, you, do you think perhaps then it would be wiser for us to wait a little longer and, and maybe request that they stop preventing us from remembering uh, when we go in the astral? Could you break that question up for me, please? What, what, what was the first question? Okay, so the first question was your feeling our, our, about the chip. If we should perhaps mm -hmm. wait on going physically uh, so yes. that that chip doesn't have to be there. Yes. I say this to you. Ultimately, it is your free will. I can offer you perceptives, it is your free will and some of you will choose to uh, upgive their life for this experience. Now, 
is not necessarily what I would recommend for the well-being of the Homo sapiens. I believe it is a technology that <clears throat> your populace is not ready for at this time. The chip itself is of great fascination. Understand that this will be made under the notice of your government representatives. It's just the beginning. The insertion of a chip is just the beginning. So I would say to you, wait. That would be my advice to any being on any planet in this current situation. Become patient. Repeat the manifestation process. Don't what you call give up. Know that there is every effort being made to provide these situations for you. It is simply that right now, this is the best I have to offer. Now, if you refuse, and I ask this of every single one of you, if you refuse, please do so with appreciation and respect. Because it was created out of the desire to keep you happy. This will encourage the aliens to continue on their path with you to bring you what it is you want. So please be mindful, be grateful. Whether you choose to have the chip implanted and visit or not, be grateful, please. Was there a second part to the question? Yes. Um, yes. The, the the second part was it's that perhaps um, in the negotiations they could ask if if they would just allow us to remember our trips in the astral, so, because they're the ones preventing us from remembering. Now I understand that there are some that still do remember. Um, yes. but um, they are the ones preventing us to remember so if they could stop that then mm -hmm. you know the the sight to sight would not be necessary at least not at yes. this moment yes yes I have just relayed that on to <clears throat> to her she will go further She watches very closely over the conversations that you are having amongst yourselves at this time. She's feeling there is a little bit of distress. She has become much more three-dimensional in her ways, though she still is of high vibration. She is able to connect with humans in a remarkable way because of the work that she has put in. Now, she was also a, a large part of relaying the wish that you were expressing that you wished for sight to sight experiences to occur. This is the unconditional love that Takur has for you all. She will put at risk herself for the sake of you. So Again, please, when you address her, when she has visited, please give thanks. Now, as far as travelling astrally to the meetings, this, this may be done. This is, however, up to your ability to astral travel and your ability to remember. Um, but I, I I meant to 
the astro travels to Gurtfutnir that we do oh, yes. while we sleep. Those are the ones that we would like to remember. Yes, yes, yes. That is understood too. Yes, Tukur heard that. That is understood too, very much. They're working within the bounds again of the contract. It is something though that the humans are becoming more comfortable with the idea because it's not causing chaos on the planet. So there will be less restriction in that sense. And possibly in, in situations, for example, uh, where you visit the crystal room, there may be more remembrance of that experience. That they can allow you remembrance of uh, existing in a in a realm um, that you wish to visit. That 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 is possible. However, there is a balance. Imagine. If you, there is a limitation on the time that you spend in the crystal room. Now it varies from human to human, but never has it gone beyond, be, be, excuse me, gone beyond 18 minutes. Humans are not able to tolerate the power in that room beyond 13 minutes, 18 minutes, because it affects them mentally. And when they return, they present unwell. So it's very stringent rules about the crystal room. But I would speak to you and, and, and encourage you to astrally visit the crystal room, the crystal rooms that have been made for you, and use that in your practice of remembrance of your ability to astrally travel and the remembrance that you have the experience because the crystal room is so powerful. There are many humans that remember visitation to the crystal room. It may only be partial remembrance, but it is remembrance. So this is how I would suggest to you to begin. Once you master this idea, then you may turn to perhaps your visitation to the ships, astrally, how, however you wish to do it, holographically. You, there is choices. I don't know if you are aware. There is choices as to whether you visit astrally or holographically. And what it comes down to is the individual human's ability to astral travel. They do not make a distinction. They do not say, oh, this person, they are not able to astral travel. We will not bring them. No. They created another way for you to visit. They created it for you. Does that answer your question? Yes. Thank you. And I think, you know, from that remembering the astral travel, I think that's where... Um, the site to site uh, push for stem from because yes. I think it what happens is after a while it you want to feel it like it's a bit more real and yes. and you know you you get little bits of memory but you know it's cloudy and and it'll be human after you start to wonder so you want to solidify what you're feeling or you're seeing a little bit more and yes. and I think that's why people were pushing for the side to side but now yes. we'll open for others to ask questions but thank you Amatak for, for your answers you're welcome Stephen hello Amatak how are you well Just, thank you um, I have a couple questions for you uh, when it comes to say if I did get the chip installed and uh, and I did get it removed I was wondering how what technologies or what uh, type uh, what what types of technologies can they use to still monitor us you said they still can monitor us or still can track us after even after the implant was removed I was wondering how how they could do that yes all right 
initially I will explain to you. The insertion of the chips is actually done by breaking the, the chip down. As what happens when they transport from their ship to Earth. The chip is also breaking down. It is moving from mass to mass. So it will be inserted in an absolutely pain-free experience. There will be nothing like what you perceive to be a injection. It will be an experience that's very quick. There is a tool that's used. It breaks down the chip in such a way that it may enter into your body without causing harm, without causing pain, without causing remnants. So the chip itself and the insertion of it and where it is inserted will be painless. The chip can be removed in the same way. It is not, this was one of the, the uh, issues that was greatly addressed amongst Gurkhnia. No pain, no pain, no pain. So they had the technology and they decided that they would do it in this way. Now the second part of your question, it was about the government's ability to still track you, like you said, they're still able to monitor you. you and everything. Yes, this is not hard. This is not hard at all. If you are identified simply by name, they can track you. It's, it's, it, this is not a difficult occurrence. If it, is, if it is known that you are one of the ones that did have the chip implanted, as you are supposed to do and leave your contractual notes, it is giving permission, in effect, to the governments to follow you for the rest of your lives. Now, that will be incognito. You may sense it sometimes that you're being followed or you're being watched or, you know, even from the sky. But that's not difficult for the humans to do. It's not difficult at all. It is simply by name. All right, thank you. And also, has there has there been any site to site already who has had a, uh, a chip implanted? No, not with the chip implanted. Not with the one. There are many that have visited with the one that's generally behind the right ear. Yes, that has a different purpose. This this additional chip. It's a whole different story, as I just explained. All right, and one more question: If the chip is inserted. Uh, say now, how fast uh, could you get a physical transport to the uh, colony ships? Like how, how long would now? it take? It would happen. My understanding at this point as what Gurkfit Nia are discussing with the government, the government would like it to be in there for a certain period of time because they want to study what leads up to this experience. They want to look at the brain waves. They want to know if you have an inkling that you will be visiting aliens. They want to know how is this affecting your interaction with those that you love, your families, your colleagues. This will interest them greatly. Once that chip is inserted, the government is going to be monitoring like you would not believe. <laughs> So they would like it inserted, they talk about a month before visitation. This is something that is still on the drawing board. The aliens of course would prefer to simply have it implanted to take you for the visit, bring you back and have it taken out and all be well. Understand this. The conditions that are imposed upon this situation is by your own governments. And those governments that are not receptive to this idea right now, I can tell you, though it is probably irrelevant, but I will share this with you. It is because of their religious beliefs. 
Once they, uh, as Tukur's worked hard at, able to relate with these delegates along the lines of their belief systems, their religious beliefs, an understanding of the alien delegation of exactly the belief system that these countries that are resisting hold. In that way they will be able to reach out to them also because they will be able to say we know your beliefs, we respect your beliefs and this is why we respect your beliefs and it will be sincere. They are telepathic. When the aliens visit, they enroll their telepathy very much. So they tend to also, apart from holographically, design a outcome that is a viable uh, accept and acceptable between both parties is taking more effort on the aliens than it is on the humans. The humans are simply sitting back and rubbing their hands together. Now, I'm not telling you this to say to you, resent your humans. I'm telling you this to say to you that your humans in government most do have your well-being at heart. They simply need to understand that the aliens have your well-being at heart also. Have I answered your question? Yes. Uh, yes, thank you uh, for that. Um, and uh, where does free, truly, where does free will come to play in this and your constitutional rights as the First Amendment where you have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? I mean, we are, we, I mean, as long as we're positive, loving, light beings who want to wish to make a difference and to heal and to spread the wisdom and knowledge of, of healing and, and uh, you know, health-wise, whatever it is, I mean, it should be our decision. We put the people in government in power. It shouldn't be the other way around where we have to ask and, and have these limitations and conditions placed upon the people very people that we put in power. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's just yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff when it comes to the Constitution. I mean, well, I, I yeah. died in the Civil War and stuff. I mean, in my past life, to you know, to, to defend the Constitution, you know. Yeah. Yes. Let me express this to you. Your Constitution is actually seen by many of your government as being what they call archaic. It doesn't mean they seek to change it. It simply means there is not the same level of respect. The other thing I would like to share with you is that your constitution is only applicable to the country of America. It is not applicable to the countries of the rest of the world. I understand that you wish to point out that there are parts of the constitution that you can draw on for yourself, for your own comfort, but Ask yourself, please, do you really believe that this is going to be something that is going to change the decision of your government? You may want it. You certainly can manifest it, and I constantly encourage you to manifest. But at this point in time, do you really believe your constitutional rights mean anything? Well, they've, they've done a good job at... Phase, trying to phase it out and, and manipulate you into statutes and codes and regulations and all these yeah. different uh, uh, state laws and stuff and, uh, against uh, that is is completely illegal and unlawful when it comes to yes. the Constitution. But they have done yes. a very good job of, uh, job of tricking the people into giving away their power to to the Illuminati, the whoever, the governments, whoever. Mm -hmm. Yes, and in that, you have answered your own question. The likelihood that your constitution would stand up in any meeting with the aliens, no matter how many human delegations there are, the likelihood of that even being brought up is about 2%.
don't I feel discouragement. I wish to ask you work is in progress. There are alternatives, there are variables, there is probability. I speak to you about this now. Know that in your tomorrow is a new day. Know that in your tomorrow there is new communication. In your tomorrow there is new choices. In your tomorrow there is new occurrences. I disclose this to you not because I wish to discourage you. It's because it is true disclosure and you do feel concern about this idea of site to site and the cheap insertion and again I will express it is free will it's not going to be forced upon you you do get to choose it is that is the decision that each of you individually need to make and is is it something that you it serves you to be in a group and have a discussion about if that serves you, please continue. If you prefer to discuss it on the phone, if you prefer to discuss it sitting across from a friend, these are all ways of you thinking out loud. In these conversations, perhaps there are reflections coming back to you, giving you answers subconsciously. They will come consciously. You, you will make the choice and it doesn't necessarily have to be a conscious choice. It may be a subconscious choice that will come to you in your sleep and you will wake and suddenly you will feel clear. This is the direction I want to take. As you fall into your sleep in the evenings, you may address your subconscious and you may address your unconscious mind also. You may pose a position to them that you are unsure about because it's an individual piece of view. So you may pose a question and then in your dream time, if not in the first night, repeat it the second, repeat it the third, you will get an answer. It will come. So if in your constant state you're feeling distress and confusion, you want sight to sight, you don't want it to happen this way, you're unsure, you can't meld the vibrations, it's just not making you feel good, then ask your subconscious, ask your unconscious mind. Your spirit realm is already involved. You may speak to them, of course. Right. But that's what I ask of you at this point. Thank you very much. And one more question. Whenever we raise, say, this, this is in a 3D dimension. This is in a third density type of, if we get the chip implanted, it's all done in this type of reality. Now, when, when we evolve, when we modify, when we go site to site physically and we modify our implants and we start activating our abilities, and our telepathy, teleportation, telekinesis, uh, ash, all, this, all these abilities and everything, uh, as when it goes for monitoring, when we raise, say, into the fourth, fifth, sixth dimension, are they still, a, or say, seventh or eighth dimension? Are they still able to track us that far into the into the physical? Or oh, that yes. Far? Okay. oh, yes. Yes, it's one of the terms of this agreement. It, it is that uh, your tracking, no matter where it is you track to, is is in the eyes of the governments an absolute must. Now, if you were to raise dimensions, move higher, that essentially is going to fascinate your governments far more. It does not mean they will lose track of you. In fact, it means there will be more disclosure. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Much love. Much love to you. Um, greetings, 
this is no harm. I'm a talk. No, no. Uh, All right. I'm a one. How are you? Uh, my question is: I got confused from the beginning when you said, uh, "Are you going to be a guinea pig, or are you a discerned person? Where are you exactly?" This is concerning what actually, because. As we are, and you have been feeling, we are discerned and we made up our minds, okay, we're willing to go. So what is the confusion here? What's going on? Ah, yes. Would you would you like to address the group on this? Of course. I will uh, wait. Address the group? No, I'm addressing you. You're the one who's taking charge in, in this uh, discussion. We all made our own minds. We are discerned. We, are, we know what yes. we want. We are all go-getters. So why are yes. you saying we were guinea pigs? I don't get that point. Uh, why are we saying say that we were guinea pigs? I didn't get that point. Ah, yes. The idea of the tracking device. Um, in effect, the implant itself and the creation of it and the use of it will and the insertion of it into a human is of great uh, interest to your government. Essentially what is happening in, in the eyes of our scientists, you're perceived as guinea pigs, oh, what you call guinea pigs. Now I'm not using that word literally, I'm using mm -hmm. it in the sense that an example of the study of what will happen because humans want access to all of this information and they will watch. They will yes. watch how this chip is built, how it works and how it moves you. Yeah. And they have not had to request that any other human step up and do it. They have not had to attempt to do it in any animals. Yeah. So they're going to look to those of you who've made the decision to go. Mm -hmm. And in effect, one reason why they are so interested is because you are being treated by your governments through this allowance as guinea pigs. Mm, that's how they look at us. Okay, no problem. They look at us whatever they want to look at us. Essentially. Yeah, no problem. That's okay mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, very good indeed. So you see everything as good and uh, for our own good and uh, your our well being from your side upon and our side so everything is going well there's nothing to worry it will go as well as you choose to yes very much sounds good to us we're ready yes there is but free will <laughs> the concerns that different people have they are absolutely valid it does not mean that you as an individual need to share that belief but you said something that catch my mind. You said it just concerns the USA. What about the rest of the world? The rest so, of you, the world. You said you concerned USA citizens, or what about the rest of the human colony, different nationalities? Different nationalities. The the if I understand your question correctly, that is all being considered by your representatives in your governments. No, you it said is, something. It, you sorry? said it concerns the citizens of USA only, the American citizens only, or what about the rest of us? Oh, of no, 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 no. This, this is definitely world inclusive. Okay. Hmm. Yes, very much. Okay. Then we're fine. <laughs> yes. If that, is your choice, if that is your choice, yes. Great, great. Mm -hmm. And while we're gone there, we have uh, some uh, uh, sicknesses, we have some ailments, we have some aches in my, like I have my shoulder pain, everything will be healed. Great. There is a probability. I cannot guarantee you that that will be the case. Ah, uh, but you said. There is limitation on those things. Oh, but you said uh, earlier to Sabrina that the ones who are sick, they'll be healed. So I figured oh, out no, that. No, no. 
no, no, no. My comment was was that if we if they were to take each human who had was suffering an ailment mm -hmm. and suddenly they became well, mm -hmm. there would be mass curiosity. There would be mm -hmm. mass study on these people. Yes. There must be well, much care taken not to alert the, the governments that the aliens are interacting and healing in this way. It would cause organized and disorganized chaos. I understand that part too. Yes, yes, I understand. Mm. Mm. Makes sense to us. I would like also to share with you, however, it is the wish of the aliens that they were able to do this. It is it is something that they would feel much joy to heal humans. Mm -hmm. yes, it simply is not part of what is in discussions at this time. I understand. It has been scratched off. I get you. Yeah. Um, Latak, I would also like to us um, put a footnote here that. Also, not everything will be healed because people have to remember that they have contracts. Yes. Very relevant question, Sabrina. Thank you. Contracts are very important. It is likely that those with a contract that need, need to experience a painful state for a lesson, they will not be chosen for visitation or healing, obviously. What comes further down the track, though, is something that you may look forward to with confidence. So please, don't feel discouraged. You are all greatly loved, sincerely and deeply loved. And I am speaking to you now as a delegation of Gurkhvignir. We do sense the love, otherwise we wouldn't have chosen to go. Yes. Of course. It's reciprocal, yes. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is beautiful. And I don't know if you heard before, however, there is the experience, the idea of a parent telling a child no and having to induce tough love on this child as you would say. No parent wants to tell their child no. This is known amongst the universes. It simply is not a part of what we feel amongst massive multiverses good. It does not feel good to say to somebody, your child, I want to play and you need to say no. The aliens, it is a similar situation. They are saying, yes, we hear you asking. This is the best we can offer you right now. They are attempting to give you what you want, as that parent would. However, at the moment, there's conditions, and at times you would put conditions on that child. If you wait long enough, as with your youth, they come into adulthood, they become responsible for themselves. If you wait long enough, relationships will be built with the government, effective relationships with effective negotiation, and your will will be fulfilled. When you think to this, think to this analogy. Anything Is there any more questions? Questions. Mm -hmm. um, I I do have um, another question. I'm gonna talk in. Um, so is it really? a good idea for any of us to go if these chips are going to be used in a negative way um, if they're already considering using it in a, in a different way that 
it was intended, is it really a good idea for any of us to go at the moment? It doesn't seem like it's a wise choice to make at this point of t in time. I would say to you, as as free will is very active in this decision, I would say to you, Sabrina, your question is wise. I would ask you each who hears this to truly understand the purpose and understand that these conditions were not imposed by the aliens. If you take into account the logic of the situation, which you all have the ability to do, then I ask you with gratitude, with thanks, if you choose to deny the opportunity, also acknowledge that the opportunity was created for you and be grateful. That is how I would summarize this. That is what I, how I would answer your question, Sabrina. Yeah, it feels that there's a lot to think about. Now, where in the negotiations do they stand right now? With regard to site to site? Yes. Yeah, it's early days. Okay. The, the aliens, the aliens are very clear. They, they have heard, as I said, they have heard your request for a long time. And as we came to a point where disclosure became something that was a choice that we allowed through deliverers around your planet, this disclosure needed to occur also. This may have been presented to you as, oh, we're going to allow you to have a site-to-site -site visitation. There may have been, oh, no, there will be no chips. You will have memory. Would that have served you any purpose? No. They will not... For, as example, blindfold you. The aliens will, you will find, will never blindfold you. The purpose is disclosure. Remember that. What is happening now is the decisions are not kept simply between the governments and the aliens. Disclosure is coming from all sorts of places. <clears throat> to give you a bigger picture of what is occurring, to show you where the trust lays, where the trust does not, for you to use your own instincts and make choices for you, given that you have all the information now to make your decision, where in the past that may not have been the case. So I ask you, as further disclosure comes about experiences in this light, understand it's being done in a way out of respect for you, out of respect for the greatness that you are, the greatness that you are able to manifest. It may seem, oh goodness, we, we, must, we must ponder this. this. This is troublesome. Yes, perhaps. Be aware, however, this was disclosed to you on purpose. Sharing of information. You now can look to the aliens and understand the limitations that they are under, the limitations they are bound by. It is very important. I do not want to wish you against Ill, Ill will amongst your fellow beings, amongst your fellow humans. Because there are the majority, 
you can trust. Even in the governments, you would be surprised how many actually are trustworthy. They may have hidden agendas for themselves, yes. This is in regard to their career. This is not in regard to visitation with aliens. Does that make sense? Yes. Is there I, any other questions? I'm greatly honored uh, on the talk. I think it's the first time we've spoken, but I see a great honor in this uh, experience huh. and the honor uh, in being a front runner to embody fearlessness and love and, and um, try to do my best, and I think everyone in Ukolo and anyone, um, when they interact with entities of your uh, nature, we want to represent the best of humanity. We want to show the yes. truth of the human species, not the truths of the past, of um, egos and men of old. And yes. there's great honor in this, and I welcome it wholeheartedly. And it excites me greatly. I am so pleased, my friend. That is a delight for me to hear because there is wonderment coming to you all. I would even suggest things that you may not even be able to dream in your wildest dreams. If you can all reach to the point of wonderment and trust in yourselves and trust in your brothers and sisters, it will be a magical existence until the time that sight to sight comes with our conditions. So I ask you embrace your 3D wondrousness, become 3D plus, be amazing, show the world and be bright. Thank you for that vibration. Thank you. Is there any more questions? Uh, yes, uh, I have uh, one more. Um, yes. uh, when, when it, uh, about the About the, uh, the oh, I just forgot what I was going to ask. Oh. Give me a second. How if, if anybody else has a question? Take your time, please. Uh, I'm talking. Well, go ahead, Gord. I was just curious your experiences with. Um, have you had any similar situations of this nature with other? Uh, Planets. Yes. Yes. They are a little different because we're dealing with different forms of consciousness, different evolutionary processes, <clears throat> different time scales. There are similarities, mm -hmm. but there are vast differences as well. Yes. What were some of the greatest catalysts to overcome the fears? of the paranoia of the terrestrial people. Mm. Desensitization and this is something that will resonate with yourselves. I have yes. spoken before about this too. Do you, do you remember? I believe so. I, I know levity and humor is very important. Ah, yes, lovely that you remember that. Thank you. What will come is a gamut of drawings, artists will become imprinted with impressions to draw. They will be compelled to draw these images of beings and wondering where is this coming from. Some will be telepathic and some will be able to produce a name and a species. Others will not. However, telepathy Telepaths will follow, psychics will follow, names will be given, species will be named, 
Resonation will begin. Vibration will begin. Desensitization. Pictures, conversation, some of the avatars that you use. All this is part of the desensitization project. Now, in a group such as this, where you have designed human colonies and you've requested DNA of various uh, species without even having truly interacted with them, that is a gesture of great faith and trust. It is appreciated. So in the idea that you are requesting hybridization and hybridized children, it, it reflects a resonation of acceptance. Now, if your hybrid child was to visit with you, and here I will give you the example of Kim's experience with her hybrid child. She has a hybrid Yael child. His name is Mika. She interacts with him, though not physically. She does speak to Belina and Zoom, who are the parents, and request, request only, that there be particular things that this child be surrounded by. Now, this child was chosen to be a yell. Kim did not specify that. She left it up to them. They chose it to be Yael because she has such a high hybridization of Yael in herself. Now, this means that when she actually meets her child, she will be less shocked. She will feel more resonation. So in this way, too, the hybridized children will affect the adults and those of you who are informed, who are awakened, who receive disclosure, this is their purpose also. There are many ways that humans can be desensitized. Your movies, those shows that you are drawn to. Imagination is amazing, amazing amongst those who tell stories on your planet. There is telepathic resonance being picked up on. All of this, all of this. You may drive down one of your roads and you may see a sign. And the sign may be in the shape of a pyramid. A simple, a simple gesture, experience, perception to one other. But you may be drawn to look at this pyramid. And you may be drawn to think, why is that a pyramid? Do you understand the difference? You are aware. You are awakened. You notice things that others not necessarily do. Mm -hmm. So this is part of how the desensitization will come. And it will play out. And when the time comes, those of you who are willing will feel a much more reduced level at introduction of fear. In fact, telepathically, you will feel love. Fear and love. You stand there, you face them. You feel that, what is your choice? In you glow, your choice will be love. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, we have fun with the frequency of fear and seeing the, the darkest night you can take us down as a collective. And we've seen the lows, so we see the extreme highs we can get to when we can turn all of that media into loving, positive oriented yes. media yes. That as awareness. And much of the media is about perception. Mm -hmm. So your beliefs, your belief systems will affect the way you perceive this media. It will be a different experience for you than perhaps your next door neighbor. And if it is, embrace it. Read between the lines. 
telepathic ability is growing amongst you. I have a feeling we're going to be doing a lot of laughing while others are scratching their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is wonderful. It's, it gives a wonderful vibration. Important. We, it's secure to fear, you know. It's, yeah. Make it your friend, you know. I uh, I look forward to so many of the experiences we're going to be able to have, and so much of the teaching and learning and learning teaching we're going to be able to do now that we become galactic humans. And yes. It's such an important marker for this world and for this planet to finally have it um, really on track, you know, and this being a Gaia that's truly going to mm -hmm. evolve, you know, one that's been so extremely loving and conducive to us. And oh, yes. Not only us, but many and many species. That's why they're coming mm -hmm. home. They praise mm -hmm. them for her yes. own you know, earlier times with them, helping them to become evolved. And now it's our turn to take the torch and be a new species that's an extremely emotionally in depth and uh, diverse with so many rich emotions to be drawn from from our experiences now to add to the collective of the universal conscious. It's an extremely beautiful act for the universe to grow from. And, uh, oh, thank you, my friend. What lovely words. I wish you much love. Alma Talk, what are the implications of us doing this uh, in reference to our children? The desensitization? No, the 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 if we do the side to side, um, my one of my concerns was also um, my children, and will this get them flagged in terms of being able to work of various companies? Um, because I, I, here, because here for jobs, you know, they do background checks and. Um, that has been one of my concerns. May I ask you, are you talking about your hybrid children on ship or are you speaking of your 3D children? My 3D children. Yes, and are you referencing that if they choose to make this visita visitation that they will be no, not? That, that if I choose to do the visitations, um, that they will be watched or they will be prevented from working on certain projects or certain companies due to what I do. Yes, no, this will in fact be encouraged because the more exposure there is to other influences on your 3D world, the more likely they are to see how this visitation has affected you. Do you understand? Okay. That as triggers around, in fact, probably busy people. Those of you who do come to the ship do have a side to side visitation. That yes, you will be watched. You are the one that will be watched. What goes on around you is of interest. What goes on inside of you is the most interest. So your children, in your sense, your concerns about their job is understandable. However, understand it is you who's being watched. If one of your children was given a position of greatness, they would look to you for the reaction. Okay. Yes. Uh, Is that helpful? Yes, yes, thank you. Yes. Welcome. Uh, I finally I remember my question. <laughs> thank you for uh, what. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering, uh, as in the capabilities of monitoring now, I mean, what's the what's the major? Is there a big big range uh, opposed to as the, as the government's monitoring us now without the chips? And when they're monitoring us with the chips, is there a great difference, or what's your opinion? 
may I ask you, uh, do you mean amongst your your community or do you mean in communication with the aliens that is in place? Uh, mainly uh, uh, the light workers are community, human huckalo, like me, for instance, because uh, uh, I'm thinking about getting a chip. And, I mean, we all are one. We're all one. We all come from source. So I'm just mm -hmm. looking at, like, I mean, I have nothing to hide. I mean, I, as in for them tracking me everywhere and, and all through my whole life, you know. It's <laughs> but, yeah, you know, it's just uh, just wondering what your thoughts are on that. Yeah. Yes, I understand many of you are concerned that Hugo is being watched. At this point in time, I can tell you that it is not. And this is one reason why there is so much interest in the variation of Hugo. There is so much activity amongst your members. The only thing that is regular is the Saturday webinars with your wondrous Jim Charles. Now, they have been watched, not all, some, and they have not felt concerned. Do you know why? Because they do not believe he is in contact with aliens. Let us keep it that way. <laughs> what goes on amongst your community within yourselves, each day it's changeable. This person will channel. This person will offer another tool of healing. This person will offer another tool of grace. This person will project love. It is ever-changing. It is not being flagged because it is not a statement that is being driven in to the community as if brainwashing. This is where the government will step in when they feel brainwashing is what is occurring. So right now, as you would put it, Hukulo is not on the map. Sweet. Oh, you know, I do send my love and light. I do appreciate uh, y'all uh, creating a, a, a modality of the chip in order for you know people who wish to uh, accelerate this site-to-site -site transfer. I do appreciate y'all's hard work and effort. Of, of just all all of the work that has been done to put into helping humanity raise their vibration and frequency. I do. I love y'all all. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. And may I say to you that Dakar just heard that message as well. She will come to you within the next three hours. She will come to your present. She will put out her hand. If you feel compelled to put your hand out to her, she will put hers over you. This will be her gesture of love. Please, within three hours, bless you. I wish for you to experience this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I am a talk. I just want to check to see that Kim is not getting tired, and if she needs, she might need to do another drink of water. Ah, yes, just a moment. <clears throat> Thank you, Sabrina. May we continue? Um were there any other stipulations put in by the government um, in terms of what they're allowed to teach us or do with us? Do they get to listen in uh, while we're up there to everything we do up there? The governments now? Yeah. No. No, it is not required. 
But since it is only holographic or astral, the government, in their wisdom, do not see this as any kind of threat. Their belief systems are vastly different to yours. Most of them do not believe or embrace these alternative exercises that you yourselves do. So even if they are made aware that you are traveling astrally, they would not be concerned because again, their filters would not allow them to believe. So at this point in time, no, holographic travel, astral travel, no. It is not watched, not by the government. But once once the side to side is approved, when we go over there, they will be listening. Ah, yes. Yes. Yes, it will, very much. Okay. And were there any other stipulations put in by them um, for the side to side that we should know about? I have already explained to you yeah. the uh, the discernment that I make about the fact that though you may see this visitation, this site to site interaction as a short period of time, there actually is a bigger picture of the government involvement and the obligation by the aliens to share the information. So it is actually bigger than just site to site visitation. There's great watching, there's sciences watching, there is populace watching, there is definitely military watching. I have shared with you the other concerns that have at this time been spoken about. Okay. But I think it's important to have all these eyeballs able to see to gain their own awareness so that they're more informed with their own decisions within their own roles on Earth. Because yes. so much of bureaucracy, especially in the military, is a, is a need-to-know basis from the top down. And the people at the yes. bottom are given the full information. You see it in every major war. Soldiers go to die for causes they don't believe in. And so yes. they say, I do this for the guy next to me. I don't do it for the you know, I have plenty of friends with Venom and they say, we don't care about the politics, we do for the guy next to us, because we know, you know, at the end of the day, they're not the one calling the shot, they're just supposed to follow the orders, and it leads to a lot of bad accountability, because there is an awareness given to everyone, and I think that's an extremely positive thing to see in this, this ship being the trust keeper, as it's coined, it's allowing an extreme amount of awareness to be gained by the people on the inside, the people who are the decision makers, the people who are the motivators of change. And we are the examples. We get to show yes. a new way yes. to, to diplomatically interact with higher intelligence instead of. Yes, you certainly, players. most players. certainly. Yes, most certainly. That is another perception. I would not disagree with that. However, this is not the issue that is being. Uh, projected as having worries. If you yourself are more than happy to have the chip implanted, then please go ahead and do so. If you believe that the information that will be gleaned from your visitation will be helpful also, then please, yes, continue. I'm not here to tell anybody not to do it. I am simply informing and disclosing the information. Oh, I understand. Yeah, I understand. And I'm not trying to. Um, I'm all about. Oh no, no, no. Giving all perspectives, you know, and mm -hmm. getting. Um, you know, I'm always more the glass half full kind of guy. I, I think that there's something constructive to be gained in every single situation. And yes, certainly. I Don't apologize, the, please. It was a relevant yeah. question. I think, I think in this situation, there is definitely a lot of sensitivity around it. Um, I know that it is a very um, critical threshold point for humanity, but mm -hmm. I think it's, um, it's being set up in a way that allows for the ball to be truly in our, 
in our court, in our hands, as we say. You know, where we mm-hmm. are the deciders of our destiny by our actions yes. and our ability to interact in a new higher conscious with the key to say, hey, yeah, um, I, I'm right on the same level of you. I, you know, if I, I was speaking with this reading about this earlier. You know, you look at the, the, the earlier meeting we had with higher intelligence in 1947 or 48, and you look at the interactions that our governments had between the two major uh, species that came, the Greys and the Canadians, and there were two very different agreements offered up to us. And we decided to go with the agreement based out of fear and out of paranoia to keep our weapons intact and our nuclear capabilities. Yeah. So that we can yes. defend ourselves from seriously, like the realize that that's not even like we don't need like the level of, of fear I understood. And Dwight D. Eisenhower warned the people as he left office, saying, you know, this is truly our, our greatest threat is our military industrial complex. And there was also this sense of were we ready on an evolutionary point yet? And um, the Canadians said, uh, you know, if you're ready, give up your weapons, um, trust in the things that you know for the law. Uh, May I interrupt? Yes. Yeah. There is a very clear distinction here. There is evolutionary occurrence with the free world within the human 3D. I embrace your position. I do understand completely that you have a vision of greatness and this is wonderful and yes it's your choice if you choose to hold on to that. If you have that much faith in your government then I, 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 I award you. I absolutely say to you follow your heart. Now for those who do not feel that and it is a very real concern I do not wish to create further fear it will though be used in not such a positive way in your situation where you were willing to say yes I will go yes I've got nothing to hide Yes, I believe this will lead to more understanding between the humans and the aliens. I would say to you then the meetings would be the place to build those relationships, not using chips inside human brains as they go side to side on the ships. This is the choice that I see. This is this is the extremes that I see going on amongst you court. There is no right and there is no wrong. I think that's a, a reoccurring lesson we're, we're always reminded of. You know, it's, it's the, the, the joy of full expression. You know, we have unconditional love given to us because it's where we're allowed to be wrong. You know, we're allowed mm-hmm. to be um, be who you are. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I have, I have family who work in the government. I have friends who have, you know, I've seen both perspectives. I know there's very good people within our government who have a very loving heart. I have friends, a recent friend who she's actually very involved in, um, in the very heavy in, intelligence area dealing with. Um, mm, yes, yes, yes. Very mm. big. And she's I see it in her eyes. She's, she just looks at me and she's like, I can't tell you what I know, but you can try to guess things. And then, you know, when I say certain buzzwords, she's like, you know, I can't, I have more people who know these things. Like, this is, this is incredible. At least it, she's just so shocked that there's so much, um, it, it's silly. Um, the, the level of expansion we um, haven't been able to embrace yet. Um, yes, and this is the purpose of disclosure and why these conversations are held now. Mm-hmm. When the decision was made to disclose more information that was being uh, mediated, for want of a better word, though this is how the humans chose to view it, uh, mm-hmm. disclosure was meant and remains meant for you to make informa- make decisions with full 
information, yeah. not blindly. Yeah. So situations such as this, they will continue because disclosure is the goal and it will come from many other channels also. It has been shared vastly. So it may seem at the moment this, this is a singular situation that is drawing great attraction to itself and an idea that is concerning to many of you. I say to you this is not the first. There will be others if you wish to co-create with the aliens, as I have shared with you before, if you wish to view yourself alongside the aliens in manifesting and making these decisions, and you can, then you need to be informed. And this is why disclosure occurs. Now, how everybody perceives disclosure, it, even within a group like this, it is a reflection of what happens in amongst the governments. So as you look to yourselves in this situation with diplomacy in mind, you can also see on a larger scale that this exact same thing happens in the meetings. Mm -hmm. When you look to it in that sense, can you see how there is dissension? Mm -hmm. So, my friends, I wish you kindness, I wish you love, I wish you greatness as I do everyone. Mm -hmm. I would simply like to share these situations will reoccur where disclosure will be presented to you and potentially conversations and decisions and individual realities will be questioned. Is there any more? I have one more that's anybody else. Um, when it comes to uh, the chips uh, being used in a negative way, whenever we get the chip, chip the actual physical chip, and our, the chip implanted into us, I mean, it, it's safe in us. I know they, I know they get like a device. The government gets a device so they can monitoring monitor it and, and everything else but they don't still they still don't have the actual device and I was just wondering how, how would they be able to use it in a negative way I mean am I safe or is it will they recreate it and uh, what I mean how would it affect the masses or or will it, will it uh, uh, me, uh, just wondering are you talking about the chipping individually inserted into those who go for site to site visitation Yes. And you're referring to the government having access to the actual chip? Well, I'm, I'm meaning that how it how how it'll be it will be used in a negative way. Like, uh, say for instance, uh, I'm I'm the first one to uh, approve. I consent to this chip being uh, installed. Uh, implant or whatever and uh, and so the government gets uh, a, a device to, to monitoring it but I'm saying how could that be used I mean I mean am I safe for the chip being inside me where they can't tamper with me they can't hurt me or I mean just I'm trying to figure out where the when how will they use that technology in a negative way I mean uh, as it from my I mean I'm just trying to understand sure surely the chip will be removed. This is part of the agreement. The chip will be observed as it's inserted and then the information will be collected and when the appropriate time comes it will be removed. This is the agreement. It is not something you will carry around with you for the rest of your lifetimes. So in effect then what happens is they become watchers of you at a different level. This is familiar to yourselves. Becoming aware that thing, things such as phone and internet and any, any expression of, of uh, public, public 
deliverance that they can intrude upon and they can look to you and perceive and they can drive past the house in which you live. They can reach out if you're a student, reach to the school. There are ma many ways that I'm the talk. human themselves may, may be observing you. They no longer it. need the chip. Yes. Almost like it sounds like to me like being in the reality show. It show everything is exposed, right? This is how it looks like. Th that is a good analogy. Yeah. Okay. Twenty four seven. Yes. Wow. You gotta be ready for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, and I, I, there are those who don't mind that. Yeah, I don't and mind that. Honestly, the capabilities of the government, they can pinpoint you to down to a penny with a satellite in an instant. I mean, I already know the capabilities of the government is 50 years at least as well. Um, they're already ahead of us with, you know, the capabilities we have now. They're 50 years ahead of advancement. So, I mean... I would say to you the distinction here with that is, is that this particular chip is a new technology. It is not something they are aware of as yet, and this is part of the negotiation. But that's okay, better. Once they have the knowledge of this chip, so things may knowledge. change vastly. So I need to know the time, the time, uh, Tim, how is it going to be for us? Is it going to be a week long or how long are we going to stay up there? Exactly. Mm, yes, that is yet to be decided. <laughs> There's also yet to be decided how long before you actually visit the chip will be inserted and how long when you return the chip will remain inserted. It depends on the interest of the government or the military who are involved in it at that point in time. And how is our body's capability to be able to take this time period? One week is kind of reasonable in my head right now, but later I don't know, upon time probably it will go longer than that, maybe a week and a half or two weeks max. What it I has been know. suggested, yes, it has been suggested a month. A month? A oh. month, yes. It has been proposed by the humans a month for them to believe that they get a grasp on the situation before and of who you are before you are actually taken. Then they have this month, the month period time, to look mm -hmm. at when you return and chip is removed and make comparisons. So it's a scientific experiment. Yeah. Okay. Still, uh, to my in my head, one month to me. Are we capable to be take, able to take it? One oh, month in space yes, is not as itself, easy as we think. The chip itself will not cause you distress. Our the ability, chip itself human ability. Painlessly. No, I'm not talking about the chip. I'm talking about our human. Ability and capability and our setup. Is it being going to be able to take that time period or not? Yes, yes. It is completely made specifically for human beings. Oh, there is um, no danger from the implant itself. Well, Natak, I think she's misreading what you're saying. Um, you're no, how yeah. he's. Well, Right. Amantak said that the implant would be put a month before you go mm. uh, up to to um, the ship in order for them to see your behavior beforehand. Yes. Uh, to have something to compare it to. Yes, this is the government I refer to, not the alien. Correct. Okay. We'll experience it one month ahead, and then after that, uh, the time period when we'll be up there in the space. How long will we be able to stay? A month period? Uh, less than that? A week period? A week and yeah. a half? This is what I'm asking. The car has said two hours. Yes. Yeah. Two hours is quite fine. No, that's okay. Yes. It is not finalized yet when the chips will be inserted. It is simply that this is what the government have put forward at this time. The aliens do not see this as necessary. So there will be some negotiation and this may change or it may not because obviously the balance of power right now is with the government. And Amitak, you said the technology is obviously of ET technology. So it's of a higher advancement than humans have currently been able to yeah. create. So yeah. therefore the tampering or the uh, 
uh, manipulation they can try to do. You know, they could try, but will they really be able to be to any success because this is of a higher advancement? So that there's no, you know, what I'm saying like as far as how I mean, this is purely a chip that it's just like you know a all-inclusive kind of video camera. You know, it's it's, it's literally recording our full experience from every sensory level. Um, is there anything more to it that they could do, I'm saying, as far as to quell people's fears of what this chip can be weaponized into when it's not even human technology, it's EP technology. So could they even have that ability to weaponize it in some way or whatever? If, if the government is to get hold of the chip itself, after it has been withdrawn and not just the information that has been collected from the chip, this is two different things. Mm -hmm. If the government was to get hold of the chip itself, then yes, the technology could be thwarted. Yes. I use the word could deliberately. Yeah. Now, this is not the idea at the time, and this is not something the aliens wish to implant in the idea of the government's minds. The aliens wish to remove the, the chip without making what you call a big deal about it, because this, this is keeping the human safe. Yeah. So the aliens are deliberately not bringing focus to the chip what's going to happen afterwards. They're deliberately talking about what will be recorded. Because the technology in itself, simply put, your timeline, it is not appropriate. And contractually, they have stipulation that the human beings are not able to tamper or take with chip, correct? Yes. Okay. So it would be a breach of contract if they do take it. Repeat that last bit, please. The breach of contract that they do take it then, the humans. The humans? The government. Yes, yes. It's, it, at this point in time, it is being... I'm searching for an analogy for you. It has. It is being veiled. That issue is being veiled. The aliens are making an effort for that actually not to become an idea in the government's mind because their intention is to keep the humans safe. They need to maintain that technology with the aliens. So they focus on what can be recorded, what information will be delivered in the, in the time that the chip is implanted rather than the chip being removed. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying, and I'm not trying to draw attention to something. I, I, <laughs> I see what I, I'm reading between the lines, um, and um, you know, um, I guess just for us being the people involved, knowing uh, that awareness is important from our end, so that we, you know, we we want it to only go back to the ET. You know, as you say, and we want to, um, you know, if there is a breach in the contract, um, and I only see it coming from the human side, the government side, does that allow free will from Perkin Year's end uh, in more of a sense? I mean, definitely not. The expectation I mean, then is the. the the government, there is a large percentage that are encouraging of contact. Yeah. If somebody within the government delegation in these meetings is to break the contract that is not looked upon kindly because they are not only breaking the contract that represents the relationship with the aliens, but they're breaking a contract between countries. Yeah. So they will be looked upon in that sense. Yeah. They will, in essence, for a period of time, become outside of the loop. And does that mean getting restrictions as far as political and economic aid and, and those kind of leverages? I mean, is there 
ser any serious accountability as far as you yes, know. there will be accountability. Yes, it will more likely be personal. Initially, it may be just personal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It depends how fast the yeah. betrayal is. Yeah. Yes, it, it it can it can employ boycott. Absolutely. It depends yeah. on other issues that are going on around in that country at the time. Yeah, because I think it's really important for us. You know, we have the UN and these similar type of. Uh, Embody congressional uh, world bodies, yes. or, you know, representing the world. They're supposed to be yes. united. They are part of this also. Yeah, you know, um, these organizations were created to be in, in a similar line for what they're doing, representation of Earth. Um, and yes, you know, and they choose not to buy into this subject. Did you know that? Yeah, it's interesting, and I actually know a woman who's on who's on the Moroccan chair for the Security Council there, and she's given me some interesting insights on the Security Council of the UN and just how it's really a lot of shenanigans with Russia and people just back to politics. But you know, I I deeply resonate with the fact that we need to, to show a new uh, Council of Earth in a new light, show that you know if one guy, even if you're Russia or America or one of the big boys. You've got to play ball like every other one, even in small countries. You know, nobody's bigger, nobody's greater. We're representing an equal Earth, and uh, that is, you know, going to be hard because there's definitely some bigger egos in certain countries. But I think we need to. That's another part of our representation. Um, is you know, I know when we represent Earth and go to the premiere, we're representing, you know, one face of Earth, no greater. May no I say to you, my friend? You are very wise. You are able to look at the collective situation and then pull away a positive, and it is wonderful. And I do not wish to infer that anybody else does not have this capacity. Perhaps it is only you that is sharing it right now, in this moment. However, the vibration is beautiful. And your willingness to build a relationship. And prior, I was speaking about site to site visitation with a bridge built in the middle. Now, you are addressing the bridge. This is encouraging. For you to be in government would be a wonderful thing. May I leave you with that idea? Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've been, yeah, it's, I've been told that a lot, but, but it's I see I look at structures and I want to I want to help the structural whole first. You know, I see incredible human beings go into politics and then get eaten up and chewed out by the system. Yes. And I see that there's structural flaws that need to be remedied first. And right now, I see from the outside in is where I think I can do the best impact. But I. Yes. I believe, I believe in, um, you know, I just, it's it's about time, you know, I believe there's a higher yes. purpose for all of us, you know, this is part of us being on the right track with our soul contracts, it's, it's us owning our God, and God is it's within each of us, you know, yes. showing our yes. divinity to others. And there are those of you who are prepared for disclosure. There are those of you who subscribe to the idea of manifestation. And this is one reason why disclosure is being shared and decision making is being shared. Because you may, as a group or individually, manifest what it is you want. You understand the manifestation process. So often when you have your group webinars and they are focused on one particular subject, there is much energy and frequency that goes on around that. It reaches far, it reaches wide, and it reaches where it needs to be heard. Mm -hmm. So in, the, in this instance, that is what ha is happening at this time, the conversation that we are having. It is, it is thought creating. Some okay. of you will move on to think of it. Think upon it for hours. Some of you may go to your bed and dream. Some may 
go to the toilet and flush and forget. Oh. It is something that you individually will deal with within yourselves. So, I say to you, although I am disclosing this information to you, I am not taking away your free will. No, of course not. I'm going to talk. When you're speaking to uh, Jordan, I just got this idea that we are our, the, our nation's spokesmen and women, and we are bridging our nations to the stars, star beings. This is how... Yeah, but, uh, uh, that is a lovely analogy. So yes. we, are, we are diplomats of our nations. Yes, we already are. We, yes. we, there are many, there are many, many, many beyond humans I see. that are creating and building this bridge. There is spirit everywhere. Not just on your planet, as humans are spiritual beings. Many planets, all planets, there exist spiritual beings, spiritual growth, reconnecting with source. This all happens. In this sense, yes, humans are delegates to the stars. The stars are delegates to source. It doesn't matter what's in between. You, if you are shining and you are reaching source and you are congruent, then you are at your most dignified, your most loving and most powerful, humbly. Yes, you are a delegate to the stars, my friend. Um, you are a delegate to much more than that. Mama Chuck, I also wanted to reiterate that... Um, and maybe you can speak of this a little, that this that is being done here, um, it's very serious because yes. um, anything that we say or do might be used to shut down the program. So yes. people need to keep that in mind that um, they're going to have to watch to a certain extent what they say because it could be used and how you behave and that while you're up there that it's going to be homework. You, you're going to have things to do and you're going to have to apply yourself 200 percent so yes. that the, the program is successful and and that you know we help the planet move forward and that we also help Gert Pertnier, uh look good um, yes. because all of these things matter. All of the there are many things here that we're going to be under a microscope. Yes. And yes. So I don't know if you have anything else to say in terms of that, but. I would, I would simply say to you that no matter at what point there is site to site visitation in your evolution that will be required some secrecy. Whether or not it is done using this chip inserted, there will be a contract that you already have to sign. It will sway you to secrecy as well. This is one reason why the selection process will be elaborate. It is why Hukolo is looked upon as perhaps a, a collective that would be effective for this program. The other, the other issue in this situation, when Hukolo is looked upon, and so much disclosure is shared, will those that visited and have asked to be sworn, uh, asked to swear to secrecy, will they return to Hukolo believing that this is a place of secrecy and share the experience there? Now I'm not saying this has been imposed. 
I'm simply presenting it to you as an option. It's a possibility, not a probability, but a possibility. Uh, when it when it, it comes, sorry. Sorry, was, no. Continue. Thank you. Um, I was just wondering uh, when it concerns to uh, uh, secrecy. I mean, isn't when we have official first contact, uh, won't won't all that secrecy of side to side and in uh, in contact and ETs and everything when first a contact mm -hmm. officially occurs by the governments, uh, won't that secrecy end? Yes, it will. There is plans for not site to site, but actual visitation to a ship on Earth. It's not. It is not removing the humans from their environment. It is absorbing the aliens into the Earthian environment. They will come and with permission when it is granted, and they will come with the with the rules and regulations that are laid out for them. And I have I have spoken of this further at another time. However, for the sake of this situation, I won't go over it again. There will be a message, and it will come via your newspapers, which I believe many of you feel is ironic. They will come and they will be deliberately placed in various parts of your world. There will be no secret about where they are and there will be an invitation made for visitation. They will not move outside the boundaries of that of the auric field of their ships. Yes, yes my friend, this is still very much on the table. The site to site issue itself is one that is still in debate. And uh, how do you feel about the the prosperity funds and Saint Germain's uh, funds and about uh, uh, had new financial system, new governments, uh, one called NASARA, National Economic Security and Reformation Act, that deals with uh, changing the governments into a peaceful, prosperous putting people in power who really truly want to clean up this world and, and, and uh, help everybody as a whole and see everyone as a whole because we are. Yes. May I explain this? When this first contact occurs, the manifestation will actually have been inferred by the humans who inhabit the planet at that time. Now. That means the vibration of the entire planet will have elevated. There may be some that dip and trough, but the entire collective will receive this desire. Once the entire collective receives the, the desire, it will occur. It may take, I speak only of weeks, for this to happen. Now, this because there is elevation of frequency of those of us, those of you, those of others realms that, that exist, we visit, we come, it will be a completely different perception of world order and that that the aliens use as, a, as you referenced currency will be shared amongst the humans what will happen is the balance will start to change. Ultimately we will have aliens in our government also. What we will have is leaders who will lead by demonstration, not dictation. This is where things will become effective. It may not necessarily be a group that is encompassed right now, however those groups are manifesting that idea. They have a purpose. We understand when this experience comes where ships are around you and you have the choice to go to visit them, greet them, that the actual vibration of the entire planet will feel completely different. So perception of things will alter also. 
Does that answer your question? Uh, yes, yes, thank you. Uh, I believe there's already aliens in the governments already. <laughs> It's kind of, kind of, you know, not making themselves known too much. Um, but yes, thank you. You're welcome. Um, Is there anything else? Uh, I'm a talk just, well, How do the, how do other um, aliens from other federations feel about um, how the the negotiations are going? And do they object to any part of it? Has anyone mm -hmm. shown any objections? There are many councils that have actually assembled. They don't remain singular any longer. It is called the Great Assembly. For it is felt that much more uh, sharing of information is required amongst each of these councils to be effective. The timeline at this point for yourselves is a crossroads. That and the fact that disclosure has now become something that is viewed as an equal opinion, decision, deliverance, information. The assembly needed to be made. Now within this assembly are the people who have been in these smaller councils. They still retain their positions, they still retain their importance. However, what they are doing is melding together their information. This has been very effective. They will continue to do this. It's unlikely that they will separate again. But this sharing of the selves, this sharing of the understanding, this sharing of how to relate to the humans is becoming widespread. So, I, when I speak of the assembly, this is what I refer to. So singularly, a large group with masses of information will come to pull forward propositions. Is the I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I was just curious of the nature of the structure of, of the governing body of Andromeda. Uh, is, is there Andromeda councils, or how do you find efficiency with your governance on your planet? They, they are all, any and all that are around Earth and that are dealing with similar issues on other planets. Because there is similarities. All groups involved in these evolutionary processes have come to one. Any of the species, any of the, even the spirit realm is active in this idea. En masse is essential at this time to bring to planets such as ours with such huge populations and there is viewing of us from other planets, please let me tell you that, that this is happening, they look to us as example, they look to me as I deliver to you, they look to you as to how you receive it, they are learning for they are reaching to third dimension, do you understand? Yes. So it is practical to encompass this whole experience and information, education, technology into one group that can make a collective decision that serves many, many, many planets. They can then become an order. You may call it a world order. It's a galactic order. It's a multiverse order. It's a galacti order. It is the assembly. So there is, though there may be conversation, may sway back and forth amongst the assembly. Oh, are they sure? Are they not? Are they sure? Are they not? Conversation happens. Another one steps up with different uh, information. Another steps up 
where the variation on their identification and the role that they have been playing is great learning. This is absolutely a wonderful thing for the for source. Mm -hmm. So what I say to you is yes, look to yourself, look inside, understand that you are part of source, understand that separation is becoming less and less and less and less and less around you. For the idea of disclosure is not to separate, it is to unite. And this is being reflected with the fact that the councils have united to call the great to call the great assembly. Does that make sense? Yeah, I love it. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes, I just have one more question before. Uh, I just, I was kind of wondering, as in when uh, the government can monitoring the chip, it works vice versa, right? Where the aliens and stuff can also uh, monitoring us and get to more, get to know us more on an in depth level, where they're able to uh, able to see and stuff. Does it, it works both ways, right? Because uh, the the creation of this chip was uh, from is ET technology, so. Uh, yeah. So then, then they they could get to know us more, uh, how our feelings, our personality, our attitudes, our true beliefs and stuff. Yes, and and understand also, they do not simply rely on the trip to become chip to become familiar with you. There are other technologies to become familiar with you. They're not things that perhaps are within your realm of reality at this time. However. The choice of who receives the chip, do you understand, needs to be made before the chip is inserted. Yes, when the chip is inserted, the aliens do have access to the information that is on the chip. What leads up to the chip implantation is a completely different story. Does that answer your question? Uh, could you explain just a little more, like uh, the 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 information about the person before the chip? Uh, were they were you talking about ob observation, as in observing us uh, before the chip is actually inserted? Ah, uh, you reference vibration. This is something that I have spoken largely about. Your vibration individually reflects you. Your vibration also is changeable and this is appropriate to the aliens and it's expected by the aliens. They become familiar with you in this way, they become familiar with you with your plant life watching. Yes, maybe sometimes they will view you directly and what you're exactly doing at a point in time if it is something they have not observed before. Have no doubt that those that are on the list who have requested site to site visitation will the decision will be made with a vast amount of knowledge nothing intrusive no judgment completely as fair as you would wish for they are honorable and trust that the timing the timing will be appropriate for the individual to be inserted with the chip and continue on the journey. Do not concern yourself with who is being chosen and how before the chip is inserted. Be yourselves, embrace yourselves, be the greatness you can be and you know you are, the rest will flow. Thank you. Thank you for that. And I do consent to this chip. I do consent to this chip. Yes, lovely. Thank and you. that has been noted. Um, talk, I want to thank you for coming and answering our questions and helping us clear this up a little more. And, and I think helping everyone choose whatever it is that they want to choose and and them settle in their mind whatever it is their decision is 
because uh, I think at the end it's it is an individual choice, and yes. everybody must choose for themselves. And yes. and I know that this is a challenge, for I know that Garfani is trying to do what is best, um, not just for us, but best for the planet. Yes. And and I also know that there are some people in the government that are trying to do the same, in yes. their own way. It, yes. That it's allowed within the limits that they have. Um, yes. So there is, like you said, a bridge that must be created um, mm -hmm. in order for this to happen. And it will not satisfy everybody, but at the end of the line, as long as it satisfies the planet, it's the important thing to do. Yes. Yes, well said, Sabrina. Thank you. So, thank you, and um, you are welcome. Please feel free to call on me. This okay. is something that I am encouraging him to I'll, do. I'm gonna talk. I'm about to be going to bed. So, if you want to chat some more on the astral plane, you know, I can. Lovely. Send you, you know. I guess who who is this? I don't this? know exactly how to coordinate it. It's Gordon. It's Gordon. <laughs> Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, hello, Gordon. <laughs> in yeah. You can fly, fly over. I don't know how, how at all the physics <laughs> of it all, but I really did enjoy this, and I. Um, oh, you're welcome. Thank you. It's it, I resonate with you, and you know I I, I deeply. Um, there, there is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I I deeply. Uh, it's like talking I to feel you. you. I yeah. feel you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear friends. Much love. Thank you. Namaste. Amataka, I need to say this. I was in the shower and I was thinking of Kim and I was saying, how come Kim? Oh, I haven't heard much from her. And I came in and saw, and I saw this hangout and I was so amazed. That was a calling. That was a calling, really. My goodness. And Thank you and, for yes. coming. And, thanks and please a lot. do come visit me also. This is Sabrina. <laughs> oh, certainly, yes. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> me too. Yes, it's that Stephen. <laughs> Thank you very much. Was that Stephen? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 Stephen, anybody else? No, ha. No, ha. Yes. That was me that was saying. I just um, had this uh, thought in the shower. Where's Kim? We well, haven't heard much of her. And then I came in and saw this hangout by chance. So I thought it was a, it was a calling, though. That was oh, a connection. Okay. Or, Psychic energy and abilities working like boom. <sighs> Lovely. That's yeah. beautiful. Thank, thank, thank you. you so much for sharing that. Alma Talk, I want to say thank you. Um, it was way past my bedtime. But I want to say thank you because I kept my earphones on the whole time listening, even while I slept. And then I woke up again. And just yes. hearing the information, whether I was sleep or awake. It gave, yes, you're it, welcome. It, 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 it was felt deeply and understood no. deeply. And I want to thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. It pleases me to know I can be of assistance. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And thank I do you. thank all the ones and stars helping in this matter. Yes. And on That's the ships. beautiful. I encourage you to maintain that stance. Sabrina, would you like to end with a blessing? Sure. I'll end with an Arcturian blessing. Thank you. Takatana nana koku toko si yotana nakosku a ki ki yotana nana koto oriyami a ki Ono kutu siyata nanana, koni sutu luku, ona kati kiototo, ori akati na kiki, eni oro kata, kitu koto no kara kiata si kiata, eni oko lukutu unos koruana, ahi akiatoku, oli siyana nanaka, Tonokotusi, 
Mario Saka en no kotoku Oli sono no koskuru akati en no kuru akati aso akati en no kotu ola ti atatu ono kotu osu ai ata Bless you my dear friends Thank you That was very reassuring I thank you and you are spreading much love. May I return Kim? Yes. Much love dear ones. Much love. Namaste. Light and greatness to you each. Namaste. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>